Hi, my name is Sarah Tanvir, and I will be talking to you today about the PICO Research Framework. Evidence-based practice or medicine consists of multiple steps. I will briefly review a few of them. One, you should define a clinically relevant question. You should search for the best evidence. You should critically appraise evidence, apply the evidence, and lastly, evaluate the performance of EBM. The PICO research framework is used in evidence-based practice or medicine to frame and answer a clinical or healthcare related question. I will be walking you through the steps of defining your PICO research question, and as an overview, they are as follows. P stands for population or problem. I stands for intervention or exposure. C stands for comparator or control. O stands for outcome. T stands for timing and S stands for setting. Now the four core components that researchers often think of are PICO, P-I-C-O. T and S are sometimes included as optional components. I will now run through the framework in more detail. P stands for population or problem. You're trying to determine what are the characteristics of the population or patient, or what is the problem, condition, or disease that you're interested in researching. I stands for intervention or exposure. Intervention refers to the treatment that will be provided to subjects enrolled in your study. C stands for comparison. Comparison identifies what you plan on using as a reference group to compare with your treatment intervention. Examples of comparisons might be placebo, control groups, different drugs, surgery, etc. O stands for outcome. Outcome represents what results you plan on measuring to examine the effectiveness of your intervention. Some examples of outcomes might be morbidity, death, complications from the treatment, etc. The last two that we have are timing and setting. T stands for time or timing. So this can be the time it takes to demonstrate an outcome of interest. Lastly, S stands for setting. So what is the setting in which your research question will take place? To conclude, I will review some PICO questions. For example, in patients aging 50 years or above, how does the application of the influenza vaccine compared to not obtaining the vaccine influence the possibility of contracting pneumonia during the period of flu season? The example illustrates how a question can be easily constructed by applying the PICO framework. To conclude, the PICO research framework is used to help frame and answer questions that are clinically relevant. These few easy steps will help you define your question in a more answerable, precise, and concise way.